Welcome to True You, where we'll talk about becoming the truest version of who God created you to be. I'm your host and the co-author of Lies Young Women Believe and the Truth That Sets Them Free, Dana Gresh. Have you struggled to understand what it means to be a woman in today's culture? With the media constantly telling us what women should be and what they're not, it's easy to become confused. Today, we want to wipe away that feeling because no one likes feeling unsure of themselves. Here at the Roundtable of True You, no topic is off limits. I'm Stacy Rudolph, a lead teacher at True You, and today we're tackling a big topic, being a woman in today's society. Culture tells us so many lies about what it means to be a woman. Let's check out Susana's story of her battle with this. Hey guys, it's Susana, and I just wanted to talk to you for a quick second about my struggle with understanding womanhood. So I have believed for a long time that being a woman meant uh, dressing a certain way or liking certain things or um, even having certain skills. And as I looked to the people around me and to social media, I saw a bunch of stuff that I just did not fit into. And that caused me to be really fearful. And I was scared to build real relationships. I was scared to step into the places that God had called me to because I felt like I didn't even know how to be a woman. So how was I supposed to do anything else? Uh, but there is freedom and truth and God's word is truth. And his word says that being a woman is not about the way that you you dress but about the hidden person of the heart and so if I'm going to seek out what it means to be a woman I need to figure out what God's word says about it because God's the one who made me a woman and he did that on purpose so he knows what that means he knows what he's called me to be and so the more I dig into his truth and go to him for his perspective the more freedom I have to really be myself and that is one of the most exciting things that you can do. Okay, can I just say, this is a struggle for me. Really? Because I've always <laughs> felt like, okay, I'm more of a tomboy, but I've always mm -hmm. felt like people are trying to get me to put on dresses or wear makeup yeah. like I need to do makeup every day, and that is just something I'm not willing to do. Stacy, I give you freedom to be a tomboy. Thank you. <laughs> You're wearing it well today. Thank you. You know, I'm not usually the fatigue girl. No. no. She's really, like, frilly and pink <laughs> and do. studs and all are that stuff. Are you making fun of me? Just a little no. bit. No. Why not? Alina, can you identify with the tension, the pressure to be a certain kind of woman, stereotypical, whether it's the world telling you be this woman or sometimes, let's be honest, the church says, oh, this is what a woman's supposed yeah, to be. Do you, so feel, do you feel that? For sure. I grew up around all boy cousins and they oh. were like, we eat, sleep, drink dirt. And so <laughs> <laughs> that is what we did. And I always got scolded, like, you need to be more girly, oh. you know, cross your legs, yeah. which to some extent is true, but learning the balance has definitely been a struggle in my life. Life. Yeah. yeah. Well, and here's what's hard is the Bible has a lot to say about gender. It has a lot to say about maleness and femaleness. And when we add to that and make it about wearing pink or mm -hmm. doing ballet or whatever, baking, and we don't give girls space to wear blue mm -hmm. and hunt and fish with their dads. I know lots of girls that love that. Mm -hmm. We are not being true to what God's word says. Mm -hmm. And it does create confusion. So yeah. we are gonna erase some of that today. Um, one of the things that I think is really important is giving each other permission to be the kind, do you feel permission to be the kind of girl you are, even though I'm usually wearing pink? I do, I do. And I think you have certain people in your life that help you with that. My yeah. sister has always been like, she's more dressy, more skirts, dresses and all of that. But she's always been like, just do you, bro. If you want to wear yeah. a bomber jacket, wear it. If you want to throw yeah. on some sweats, do it. So yeah. I really, you got to find people in your life who are going to kind of encourage you to be who you are. Has your yeah. family allowed you to eat dirt. Yes, <laughs> they have, thank you. Yeah, but you also, like, you're an artist mm -hmm. and you love creating music and writing lyrics, so there's this artistic side of you too. That's a unique, that's Alina. Yeah. You feel the permission to do that? Yes. Yeah, that's I'm good. so grateful for our family. So we does. give you permission to be you, but we also want to say this, fact, fact, Feelings are not facts. Mm -hmm. Feelings are not facts. How you feel about being a girl, how the culture makes you feel, even how your family or your church makes you feel, mm -hmm. that is not the facts. We have to go to God's word that tells us what's true about being a girl. And I want to open to the very beginning of the Bible. God tells us something really important. In Genesis 1, 
26 and 27. This is 27. So God created man in his own image. So we are image bearers. We are created to look like God, right? And then he says, in the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Now think about this with me. He just said, you're going to look like me. And now he's going to say, let me tell you how. Mm. Couldn't he have mentioned our ability to write music lyrics and compose sonnets and our creative proficiency? Like, that's very godlike. Dogs yeah. don't do that. <laughs> um, uh, couldn't he have talked about man's ability to one day defy gravity and fly to the moon? Mm. Like, that intellect, you know, that's amazing and godlike. Mm. But what does he point to? Gender. Gender. Yeah. He points to our maleness and our femaleness. And so there are things in scripture that we have to say, hey, we can't blur the lines to the point where they don't exist. There are right. distinct differences yeah. between males and females. So at the same time as we're giving you permission to be a dirt eater or a <laughs> yeah. bomber jacket wearing <laughs> girl, like we're going to open this and say, how I feel about being a girl doesn't matter nearly so much as what God says. Yeah. For sure. So whether you're like, you want to wear bomber jackets, you want to eat dirt, or you want to dress in pink and be all frilly, we just challenge you to be who you are. Be who God created you to be. Stand firm in who he says you are and be the true you. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed today's conversation, we invite you to join us online for a deeper discussion at liesyoungwomenbelieve.com. We'd also love for you to send us your one-minute video freedom story. Get all the details on our website. Thanks for joining us today.